A very good morning all of you. I welcome all you for the second lab session of 8086 microprocessor lab. In this lab session we are going to see how to do the basic arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division by using 16 bit numbers as well as 8 bit numbers. So we are going to use the instruction set to like add, sub, mul and division. These are the keywords which will be used uh, in writing the assembly language program in 8086 microprocessor. So before that just we will see a, a quick overview of internal structure of 8086 for the better understanding of arithmetic operations. If you look at here this is the internal structure of 8086. So our interest is only execution in it. So whatever the instruction we write it that will be fetched by a memory. So your instruction will be fetched here and through control system your instruction will come to arithmetic logic unit and your instruction will be executed in arithmetic logic unit and results will be stored in the AX, BX, CX and DX registers. AX is accumulator resistor which is a 16 bit again BX also a 16 bit resistor either you can use it for 8 bit or you can use it for 16 bit and DX register used to store the multiplication results as you can see each resistor specification is given here what job it going to do when you perform the arithmetic operation or logical operations so as far as today's lab is concerned we are going to use AX resistor and BX resistor to do arithmetic operations and we are going to see the results of arithmetic operation in all the operation the results will be always in the accumulator register either addition or multiplication or uh, division in division case if, if the number exceeds 16 bit number that the data may be storing in the dx registers that we will see in a moment now let us start the 8 bit automatic operation that means you are going to use the 8 bit data 8 bit binary input so initially uh, start origin this is the syntax for the emulator then the next four instruction move ax comma 00h move bx comma 00h so this will clear the content of the x register what are the previous values so that will be clear that means you are going to replace your a your al and ah there's nothing but entire thing is ax so it will be replaced with 00 here and 00 here Similarly, BX, similarly CX, and similarly DX. That means you are initially clearing all your resistor for the accurate results. Then once you clear the resistor values, now you are moving your AL resistor with 04H. That means it is hexadecimal number. If you don't mention H here, it will be considered a decimal number. System will convert back to hexadecimal number and do the arithmetic operations. Then in the next instruction my BL will be moved with 0 to H. Now you have successfully stored two numbers in the two resistors. Now when the next instruction is executed add AL comma BL that means 0, 04, 0, 02 will be added and results will be stored in the accumulator resistor. So as a result your AL value becomes 06H. In the next instruction whatever the updated value in the AL that will be subtracted that that value will that value will subtract the bx value that means bx value is 0 to 0 06 minus 0 2 will be 0 4 that means your new al value will be 0 4 h in the next instruction multiply bl that means so multiplication you don't have to write mul al into bl default all the multiplication will be associated with the accumulator resistor so your al value that is 0 4 value will be multiplied with the 0 2 value so you are going to get 0 8 h in the al resistor so new value will be 08H. In the next instruction, division also same thing. Division always has the accumulator resistor. So in the division, you are going to get 08 that is available in the accumulator resistor divided by BL value is 02. So you are going to get 04H as your answer. So this is how you are supposed to write program for the 8-bit arithmetic operations. So now let's run the same program and try to see whether you are able to get the same results or not. Let's copy this program as it is. Let's open the emulator and let's take the new file. Go to the com 
as usual then paste your code here now let's compile it for the errors so there is no errors everything is same so you don't need to change any corrections now go to the emulate options listen carefully when you when you when you press the emulate option you are going to see two windows one is the machine code window here and other one is the the code which we written and this is the program which you written on the front end and these are the register values where you are going to see our results now we'll execute step by step you can in you can do the execution one run all the instruction or you can also do step by step so we'll do step by step for the better understanding so let's start with single step you can see your pointers are moving a blue color pointer moving downside and this yellow color also will move downside as the instruction are executing one by one now ax is cleared if you look at here cx solid having 19 so when you start executing the instruction your cx will be cleared so now you can see bx is cleared now now in the next moment your cx having 0019 this will be cleared with all zeros as you can see your cx is cleared immediately in the next step your dx will be cleared now in the next step your AL will your AX register will be moved with a value with 004. You can see now. So your AL value changed to 04. Next step, BL value will be changed to 04. In the next step, your add instruction going to execute. That means 06 will be replaced your AL register. You can see now 06 has come. In the next instruction, your 06 minus 0 to 4. That means your AL becomes 4. Now you can see AL become 4. And the next instruction multiplication that means your 4 into 2 will be 8. 8 will be replaced in the AL register. Now you can see 8 is replaced in the AL register. Now division operation. So 0, 08 divided by 2 it will be 0, 04. So that will be moved to the AL register. So you can see it is 0, 04. So this is how you can uh, cross check each and every step of your instruction by using a single step or you can also reload the entire program once again. And you can run all in one go but you can see only the results of last instruction so if i run i'm going to see division value of 04 in my accumulator register you can see so it is done all the instructions are executed one by one and you can see your final answer which is available in al register that is a division answer so this is how you can simulate your program in the 8086 emulator now we'll see the 16-bit instruction in a moment in case of 16-bit instruction, what we do is instead of taking 8-bit data, we are going to take 16-bit data here. Rest all are same. We have to replace AL with AX because you are using the 16-bit. So the moment you put AX, that means you can, you can either you can enter 8-bit data or 16-bit data. It will take both. And all the instructions are same. Only I replace syntax with AL and BL with AX, comma BX. And let's run this simulation. Let's see how this result is going to come for us. So let's copy this program. Now let's copy paste your program here. Let's emulate it. So now you are going to do the 16-bit arithmetic operations. So as usual you can see your CX solid having some number. So first four instruction you are going to clear all the resistors. So now all the resistors clear. In the next instruction your AX value will be moved with 1221. So 1221 and next instruction your B value will be moved with 1211 and 1211. In the next instruction you are going to add those two numbers. So they are going to get 2432. So you can see 2432 addition of 1221 and 2211 in hexadecimal numbers. In the next instruction, your 2432 will be subtracted from 1221 and you are going to get 1221 as answer in your accumulate register as you can see here. In the next instruction, your 1221 will be multiplied with 1211. Now you are going to see 8631. If you, if you look at it carefully, your actual multiplication value is 147.8631H. Since it cannot store more than 16-bit number, your X value. So first 4 bits are stored in AX register. And register division result this 147 is getting stored in your dx register as you can see 0147 in the next instruction you are going to divide so that going to give 1221 again 
So this is how you can perform the 8 bit and 16 bit arithmetic operations and you can cross check your answers step by step with step by step execution. So this is all for today's lab session. In the next lab session, we are going to see the basic logical operations. Thank you all.